What's happening? I'm going to talk about Tiger Woods. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to Historical Wisdom Channel because they, they're a very informative channel. And I've seen old Tiger Woods interviews. I've seen him when he was a kid on different shows showing his, his prodigy skills. But in this video, he was very dignified talking about uh, racism he experienced on the golf courses in the South and different places. He talked about how he said maybe because of slavery, how people act and so forth. But more importantly, in the video, he identified as black. There was no Kabbalism or Coca Cabana or whatever he called himself. He was saying he was black. He had a little fro, he had a little curl, and he was talking with his cat on his head. He was talking like a like a like a brother. And this was in 1990. Let me tell you about 1990. He said he wanted to win at the Masters. He said that he wanted to be like Michael Jordan of golf. He wanted to leave a statement. The thing was, the Masters, well, they really did live by that name. They weren't allowing black players on the courses. There was some play up to 1990. They were golf courses that were racially segregated. I love it when people say, oh, the 60s solved all. All the segregation and all that when they still had plantations. When it's only 60 years ago, you could vote. Or when you could work in the same place as alongside by somebody white. Or you could marry in a racial. Do your math. Do your homework. Understand about legalized busing all the way through the 70s and the 80s and up to the 90s. Come on now. Stop acting like you don't understand that things have been legally segregated in a place. Where people who were born there should have every right. And they shouldn't be subjected to one month of history. But that's another video, another time. And above some heads. But let's stick to this one about Tiger Woods, shall we? He was identifying as a black man. He was talking dignified. Not that cornball mess he be putting out. Not the GQ black jokes and all that kind of stuff that he would later be bought and whitewash and try to sell on he was actually talking like a young brother he identified so did the money and the limelight tell him well we need you to downplay this or maybe whatnot he was very um focused very straightforward now there's nothing wrong with acknowledging your heritage tree nothing at all i have no problems with that however the more success he got the more he tried to downplay what he said. If you don't see the video, then you'll be like, and like that's Tiger. It looked like him. It sounded like him. Don't sound like the cat that came out five or six years later, even though Fuzzy Zeller made those racist remarks about collard greens and ham hocks and all that other stuff. And you remember Puffy in the late Biggie and also with Mace, more money, more problems video, they're doing the Tiger Woods routine and Mace was taking a, dressing like fuzzy and they took a little tongue-in-cheek about what fuzzy said so think about it you know with what the, was said the undertones which was real but the tiger woods was talking about the experience on the golf course which a lot of people act like this is some far-fetched it wasn't that long ago and there's only been one of him you know and before people get into where there's all the foreigners and they're not treated like black folks. Who are we kidding? The golf course has only had so many black golfers that were prominent that it was an expensive and it was seen as a white man's sport. And you had to be quite well uh, financially to even think about it beyond being a caddy, which is an important job. But when you're a player on there and you're making the cut and all that, you have to be pretty pretty well versed in finding and it's an expensive sport and it's just a lot out of it so think about it but i was wondering when i saw him i said hmm he really did change money got him strange because if you see the clip it's on historical wisdom he identified as black he talked about his racism and experiences and everything and it was from back in 1990 some people won't even believe what he later said he identified with and i'm not saying nothing because acknowledge his mother rest in peace and respect because but the bottom line is this people got excited because they saw him as a black man winning on a white man's sport let's keep it 100 the running joke back in the day was you know some people some people in the pop culture media were saying that black man is dominating golf and a white man was dominating hip-hop talking about eminem around that time talk about how things are seen and perceived in certain different sectors. Some people thought like that. Some people look at things like that. I don't have to write the rules. They read for themselves. But you tell me what you think. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another share. If you like, hit that membership. Because when you do, I bring subject matters like this to you. 
Stay safe, stay blessed, stay true, stay woke, stay free, stay real. I'm out one time. Peace.